what's up we're in the next part please go check out the previous part to gauge your bearings i'm busy out here explaining something i had to meander at length uh to explain it because if i did not meander i was going to uh, get called out for all different kinds of heresy uh of being uh, full of accusation uh against somebody that very highly unlikely is was going to do uh, uh, sorry did what it is that i am claiming he has done listen just like with it is the liberty and do it y'all got alexa blow my boy chill okay i'm not gonna call you out but i don't call anyone out describe enough for people to more or less gauge some people might not know okay roman when i'm out of the way so you can understand or really get on a gun net and it and to own gains in your challenge is a dating of yes quickly because why won't let them rock on the top of the nlm side i guess about the game going Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm speaking English now. Those of you who feel eluded by my Zwana, it's only been a minute and please, I'm going to speak in English for the rest of the part. In the previous part, I was speaking. If at all you have not seen the first part, please go check it out to gauge context. I was explaining to you guys that psychology, the field, the pseudoscience that is psychology, really only caught fire because humanity could relate and they were trying to do away with god but the, the, the psychology is really truly the theories of spirit but people don't want to acknowledge god and so therefore they call it psychology and they run with what it is that psychology will recommend to them rather than embrace god okay i spoke about how it is that it is a replacement for god but if you only have 99 of the truth 70 percent of the truth it doesn't matter that you've got the majority of truth bottom line is everybody that does not have all the truth that they need goes to hell there's only one truth his name is jesus he is the way the truth and the life and no one comes to the father except through him the father of whom is god almighty and jesus himself is god the holy trinity there are not three gods uh it's one god three persons but that's not uh, something that i'm talking about today that's what i was explaining in my previous part i then went on to pick apart through Freud's theory of the psyche to help you understand that the man was actually trying to make sense of a world that obviously has more than what meets the eye than just like objective western medicine that is quantifiable he realized that there was another there was more to this okay there was another realm something that was going on and he then came up with the pseudoscience to explain it away not just for it but many psychologists many theories theorists of old uh, with the mind studies and whatnot they are trying to okay, they were trying or are trying still to this day to get answers to this other side of us that is obviously there that we however for a very long time did not have anything to deal with it but then psychology came along and gave people medication it gave people couches to sit on while talking to shrinks who are using all different kinds of strat strategies employing them i then spoke about how it is that it's god's glory to conceal a matter but the glory of men or kings is to search it out and that all the discoveries within these fields the reason why they've caught fire in the human race is because they've been partially true and insofar as anything at all has partial truth to it humanity will run with it but that's just how the devil roams right he loves to partially truth to, uh, to use stuff that has got partial truths in it because a little leaven leavens the whole loaf and, and insofar as people don't have the comprehensive of truth they all get condemned anyway so for him it's about condemning and finding ways to explain away the reality of god and i'm trying to bring them back to god right i went on right ahead to speak about how it is a freud's theory of the psyche is something like 90 maybe 70 70 to 90 percent true but there's like a, um, a portion of it that is untrue and so therefore the whole theory can be blown out the water because a little leaven leavens the whole lump i spoke about how it is that humanity people we cannot be trusted we cannot be trusted because look at how even from the days of freud formulating that theory look at how much we've fallen apart from what would was what was once considered indisputable facts do you understand what i'm saying now they are questionable uh freud would find it entirely bizarre that there are people who don't believe in two genders seeing as he came up with uh psychosocial stages of childhood development and one of the stages is called the uh phallic phase where it is that uh, little girls and little boys have got what is called penis envy and castration anxiety how do you uh, how do you account for gender dysphoria in that well how would he have been able to explain all that away fixations just in both stages it's, it would have just been bizarre that people now today believe this thing i spoke about thanks to us therefore meandering away from indisputable once indisputable facts um we therefore can't be trusted because we're mutable as a society we keep on changing all right and i then spoke about how it is that this mutability has created uh, a moral chaos a, a gangrene right that's spreading in society that has made those who are actually still sober 
live on the outliers in race or society ostracized and marginalized even though they're the right ones i spoke about them therefore how it is that good is being called evil and evil is being called good things are being flipped upside down like you know a pancake on a frying pan tapas by establishment thing and with things being flipped upside down those who are innocent are being condemned and those who are wrong are being acquitted it's written in god's word that he hates unequal scales unjust scales and he also resents hates loathes the condemnation of the righteous and the acquittal of the wicked and this is exactly what's going on i spoke about the Pareto principle and how it is that largely in any ecosystem the grand amount of destruction is caused by only a small number of people and i used examples in history like hitler one dude archer destroyed a whole country a whole ideology was proliferated all throughout the planet still to this day through one random ugly dude i spoke about how at mtni lost everything because one evil girl one evil woman influenced the rest of my colleagues to essentially loot now that there was chaos in the class now that there was chaos in the shop they decided to go and loot some televisions type setup thing they looted my future my prospects my career my everything because one person tipped a domino and so now so many people are held culpably responsible for the destruction of my life as a result of one evil little girl okay and I said that, therefore, seeing as such a, f a small number of people can completely derail the uh, state of order and homeostasis of society, how in the world can we possibly trust our own moral compass and our own uh, decisions on what keeps us in a bunch? How can we trust that? Because we are obviously untrustworthy. And if we can be toppled over by a minority of people, how in the world are we trustworthy as a society? I then... As a result of all of that, you know, formulating of that argument then said, you therefore must trust God. You therefore have got to seek out a bigger power that is immutable, that is just, that is the one that recalibrates skills, that is the one that is going to give justice to the unjustly treated, the one that is going to recognize the folly of good being called evil and evil being called good. In other words, you have to acknowledge God. And then I concluded the last part by saying that there, the, I, I spoke about that whole thing meandered in, in that whole point raising it right that whole topic in order to get to a place where i was describing now what people reduce themselves to when they don't have a moral absolute right that they hold on to otherwise known as god they reduce themselves to infants again they literally regress themselves to infants again they reverse engineer their infancy again and therefore put themselves in a position to be incontinent impetuous petulant in doing what they want to do they now are ones who when they are hungry they just eat or they scream and they say i want food and upon demanding it anticipate that mom is just going to put a spoon in their mouth when they need to pee they just go when they need to poop they just go when they need to when they want to have sex they just grab what they want i then spoke about how it is that a morally changing society a morally changing governmental structure that is bringing laws down in a country of course i'm paraphrasing that's bringing down laws in a country when then it puts into legislation the uh, uh, rights viol you know um what is, uh, what do you call this um legroom when it gives legroom to criminality in people there it's pretty much over for those who are right and just I, I spoke i don't know how many times i've highlighted over and over again in my ministry that witchcraft should globally but at a minimum of course i will start when my own country be regulated because it's literally a tool of mind control i mean goodness gracious like something like that should be held by bodies of a country that deal with top secret missions like the fbi in america or the secret service in america and in south africa like what the scorpions the hawks like need to be in charge of regulating ex executing laws concerning witchcraft like you need to guard it closely because of the, not that look first of all it's supposed to be outlawed but I, I keep mentioning in my videos that if at all the right to practice the religion that is christianity is going to be feasible in any country apart before the second coming of jesus christ and therefore the establishment of the millennial reign of jesus christ we cannot as christians insist on the outlawing of pagan religions we cannot insist upon it if at all we want to proliferate it because we 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 know you know it's written in god's word if it is possible you must live at peace with everybody we are living in a wicked world that hates god and so we have to be reasonable with how it is that we expect our societies to react we don't tarry against god we don't walk away from him we don't compromise with him but we must acknowledge that we are living among a pagan people that are stubborn and rebellious therefore we cannot hold fast to despotic or sovereign um ideologies we, we can't imagine that it is feasible to live in a society where it is that Christianity is the only religion in a country that is allowable. Like what happens in the Middle Eastern countries is a reason why there's so much oppression over there. It's because other religions are outlawed. It's only Islam that is allowable. And if you're found practicing any other religion, you then get found wanting, you get persecuted, you get afflicted. But the wisdom in Christianity has been that we live in countries where it is that call themselves Christians, but there's freedoms of religion for every other religion. 
because of the rebellion of mankind and their lack of readiness to actually truly embrace Christ. We therefore cannot successfully not before the millennial reign of Jesus Christ ever outlaw truly witchcraft. We cannot ever outlaw truly any other religion, even though it ought be and it will be in the millennial reign of Jesus Christ, where it is that a sovereign king is going to be ruling over the world with an iron fist telling you, you don't get to be a Muslim. You don't get to be a Hindu. You don't get to be, a, you don't just get, there is not going to be a right to a freedom of Hinduism or Buddhism in the millennial reign. You are either of God or not. And when you rebel up to a certain age, you will, when you rebel, you will not be able to live beyond the age of 100. That, that's what it's written in God's word in the millennial reign. That is only going to be feasibly employed by Jesus. Do you understand what I'm saying? But with us and our folly and with us also living in this age of, in this dispensation of grace and prior to the millennial reign of Jesus uh, Christ, we can live at peace with our fellow man and at most expect to be able to freely practice our christianity in a country where other people are given a freedom to practice what they want to practice therefore it would be unreasonable entirely as a christian to anticipate that before the second coming of the lord jesus christ we can outlaw witchcraft so that's why i say that witchcraft must be regulated and not so much outlawed because it's not reasonable to do so not yet not right now that is what would enable us as christians to live at peace with our fellow man other religions, pagan religions and pagan practices like sorcery must at a minimum be regulated and re regulated within a reasonable space. And I already spoke about this in one of my other videos. Okay, so I'm not going to labor at length, but basically what I'm getting at is that how you would then regulate sorcery is by basically saying that if witchcraft achieves that which is considered a crime under the physical law of the land, it ought to be outlawed. So it must have limitations just like every other right in the constitution. You know how with the right to a freedom of expression, you don't have, however, a right to just walk around in these streets partaking in reviling and hate speech. That's something that is a limitation of a right. So uh, the right to a freedom of religion must also have limitations. You, you cannot within the scope of sorcery given that it's a form of a religion it's what they call religion they, it's their faith right that's what they believe in uh, all of this nasty darkness they believe in it yeah you can do it but like if at all it actually breaks a law in the country physically if it was done physically it would be a law breaking activity it ought be outlawed in other words you can practice your ancestral worship you can practice your witchcraft but you don't get to steal with it you don't get to murder with it human sacrifice rituals you, you you don't get to rape you don't get to corvela corvela is rape it, it's it's manipulate it's mind control it's it's messing with a person's autonomy until you it, they eventually end up sleeping with you it's a form of rape sorcery needs to be regulated against the standing physical law but however people who partake in sorcery like i said they operate in the id in their basic primitive instincts if i want it i'm just gonna go and grab it so if at all they they, they want something they've got sticky fingers like velcro and they want to nick somebody's money by stealing their entire career. They are given legroom by their governments to do this in a ritual insofar as you don't steal the physical career of your colleague. Or if, if you don't actually go into the, into the bank account of your colleague and wire funds, like transfer funds, like uh, embezzle. Sorry, that's the word that I'm looking for. Insofar as you don't embezzle money from your colleague's bank account and therefore steal their savings, you are safe. Under the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa, Act 108 of 1996, you are safe. Just make sure that you do this embezzlement spiritually. Steal their money spiritually. Then you are covered by the Constitution, but you cannot do it physically. So that's the kind of stuff that now the government has, has lauded, right? The government has said that you, you've got a right to this. That's what's good. Yeah. And so because the government says you've got a right to this, these people are no longer even now considerate of the superego. In other words, if your country has made it law, if your country has made it legal for you to be such a criminal insofar as the criminal deeds that you are walking in are spiritual, then the super ego falls out the window, doesn't it? It's Freud's version anyway, where it is that society regulates each other in a country that is a witchcraft state like South Africa, where everybody's out here waving a magic wand, this very powerful tool, this very powerful weapon that is in the hands of Lay Jane's Lay Jones, like absolutely recalcitrant, stubborn, uh, mediocre randos in these streets walking around, however, spiritually manipulating people's entire futures. I mean, literally, guys, I have been bewitched by people, strangers, I don't even know. People have known for two days, making a decision that my future is going to go a certain way. This is a tool of mind control and is also a very powerful weapon to spiritually manipulate events in the physical realm. Why is it not regulated? Witchcraft should be regulated not only in my country, but across the world. But it's naive to think that that's ever going to happen. Christ is the one that's going to outlaw it. For now, we're going to have to grow up with it. But the fact that our governments 
have called this thing a right for people. They have heralded and celebrated these sangomas that enable people to steal from other people. It means, therefore, that if the superego is not operating as optimally as it ought, do you understand what I'm saying? The superego, in other words, that which is the moral compass of society. Yeah. If the superego is not operating as optimally as it ought operate, then what is to disincentivize people from partaking in that which is morally absolutely wrong? Like, the, the, the thing that was historically considered a moral absolute wrong or a moral absolute right. When then the government does not agree with these moral absolutes, what, is, what incentive is there seeing as we are regulated only by the super ego that is just people's opinions of us? If, if the government of your country agrees that what you're doing is okay, you blow out the window. Justice. You decimate justice. True. You decimate moral absolutes. You decimate that which has kept society together in a bunch. The fabric of it, anyway. You, you mess with the way, but when you're reaching singularity, you mess with the way that things have been all this time and that's why we are a growing concern. That's why we have yet to reach entropy, but we're headed towards it fast and furious. Why? Because our governments have called good evil and evil good. So therefore, even your ego is not even that decimated, given that your government seems to approve you. Ego is based on, what is this? Like, not personally, please, ain't nobody gonna catch me doing that. I'm not gonna go pee in my own pants. But the moment your government says that peeing in the pants is something that's allowable by the law, more and more people are then going to be incentivized to just keep on walking around, messing in their own outfits. Do you understand what I'm saying? If the country is saying, or if society, which, which I guess is spoken to by the country's laws, if it's told that this is okay, it's going to create a purge system. Like what mm -hmm. happened in uh, happening, what is happening in America, in California? You know how there are people walking into stores, grabbing groceries and getting out, taking iPhones and getting out. Uh, apparently you can't arrest them. You, you can't do anything. You just have to let them do whatever. Yeah, they thought that by creating that law, they're protecting black Americans from ending up in prison or whatever, or being accused when, frankly, they are victims of white supremacy or whatever it is that is this like random theology or theory, this ideology that is going on, uh, coursing through the veins of uh, America. As a result, it, it has caused crimes to be committed because now the law appears to be okay with it. It, it, did not, it did nothing but spike crimes. It did nothing but cause people to purge. That's why they call them purge laws, like in that movie. It caused people to purge. It caused people to just walk into an iPhone store, into an iStore store and steal some iPhones. It caused people to walk into a grocery store, into Walmart and just take whatever they want. It has caused various stores in America to close down, especially in the, in the ghettos. Like what, what, like Walmart's, a whole bunch of them have closed down in, in ghettos. And so they've created like food deserts in certain um, ghettos. Uh, food deserts are basically when a neighborhood does not have anywhere where to, where to buy groceries. Like the Paza and whatnot. And also stores like Walmart, like Papa. That's what's going on. Yeah, it created crimes instead of eradicate people entering into the prison system that were targeted by these laws. They're trying to protect black Americans from ending up filling up the prison system. Instead of doing achieving that, they rather caused more crimes to be committed by people who are not being apprehended for those crimes. That's just the nature of human beings. We are, our hearts are deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. If you spare the child the rod, this kid, folly, will not be driven away from their heart. So similarly too, if you spare human beings law, all that you do is inspire them to break rules. When you suddenly make something that was wrong right, you make people do it more. You, 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 it's called positive reinforcement. You are reinforcing that behavior. It's a form of operant conditioning. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. So this country of ours, that is South Africa, upon legalizing, like broadly, why just Jeffela blanketly with no discretion at all, upon it legalizing all these spiritual practices has created a zombie apocalypse in the country. It, it has created a witchcraft apocalypse in South Africa. It has literally created a witchcraft apocalypse in the land. And this witchcraft apocalypse has got a whole bunch of zombies. And I call them zombies because that's exactly what zombies are like, are they not? Think about zombies like the ones in The Walking Dead. Mm. Operate on nothing but basic instincts. They just want to eat. Their brains are switched off. Nothing else operates other than their digestive system. They just eat, eat, eat. And without considering what are they eating? A human being. This is a person. They've got faculties, they've got a heart, a soul, a spirit. They have emotions, they have needs, they have a life, a future. They have people that need them. They just 
take what they want just like zombies grunting ah, ah, ah. operating in nothing but the id basic basic instincts your country has allowed you to do this thing now there is a zombie apocalypse a whole bunch of people that discover that witchcraft works get inducted into the craft and then start to zap woo, 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 like it's a video game everyone they meet that they want something from entirely incontinent they take colleagues careers men take women gakorobela. women take men gakorobela. they have sex when they want to i like to say that witchcraft for for for, for player men men who who like to sleep around with a whole bunch of women they use sorcery like it's a supplement like vitamin c tablets where it is that where, where where it is that they cannot get a woman given that they generally just are very prolific they have a sexual proclivity from here to timbuktu sleeping around with four or five women a week when there's one that's like hard to get she's not trying to get with temple she's not trying to be another one of his girls that he hits it and quits it they then take a vitamin c tablet to supplement their deficiency their lust deficiency that which they have not you know been able to take in through a peach that which they haven't been able to take through it taken through an orange in other words other women were happy to sleep with him without being manipulated spiritually but there's that one girl in the office that's a bit of a prude she's annoying and so they go and they pop a vitamin c tablet for this deficient this nutritional deficiency in their lust they just go and they supplement their sexual promiscuity with witchcraft they take what they want anyway it's rape so now Giriboni has slept with Tepo when she didn't want him at first and she's now among the trail of cadavers that he has thrown behind him as he's walking these streets she's now one of the heartbroken women she's now a statistic even though she did not want to end up a stat Kiriboni has wound up a statistic even though the woman did not even want Tepo that is incontinent activity do you understand what I'm saying I spoke about how it is that I've got a bit of a Tepo now in the entertainment industry a celebrity in this country and I'm his Kiribone. I am somebody with whom he supplements his lust. I am something that he's gonna go and grab a magnesium tablet or a vitamin C tablet or a potassium tablet in order that he might get his nutrients in for taking what he wants. He's been taking what he wants, but this time around, somebody's stubborn. He's not the only one, there are men of this nature. And I spoke about how it is that because he's a celebrity, he is leaning on the fact that, of course, if you come and call me out, girl, people are gonna think you're crazy. But I don't know what sanya. They're gonna think you're crazy. Who do you think you are? Look, your channel is so small, it's minute. Nobody watches you. When you upload, you get binary code for views. 20 views, 30 views, maybe if you're blessed on a good on a good day. Mm. How much, I mean, goodness, when, when nobody looks at you like that, how much less of um possible? How much less of a prospect is it then that a whole big celebrity like me would ever watch you? How is it even possible? Hmm. That's where I last ended and I was like, these people who are incontinent, who are like zombies. These people who just take what they want because their super ego has fallen apart. Their governments, their countries, their national mindset is wicked. What's good is evil. Evil is good. Now they're no longer looking out for their ego. Now they're looking out just for the ID. Now they just grab what they want. They pee in their pants. They don't even pull them down. They don't even like the person. The, the ego would be the tenement of I want a woman, right? That's the ID. I want a woman. The ego would say, The ego would say, I have to actually ask her out. Then she'll be my girl. But an ID says, I want a woman. And before you even talk to her, before you even DM or before you even slide into those DMs, you've already set the, 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 the climate for her to embrace you. You bewitch a woman before you can even pursue her. That's the thing that I've been lamenting about Gaditar. A lot of these men that stab me with Korobela, they experiment to see if I'm going to talk about it in my ministry. They experiment to see if at all I'm going to ultimately capitulate. And the intention would be if at all I did capitulate, at some point they would contact me. But they don't because I keep on coming out to lament against it. So now because he's a celebrity in this country and quite a prolific one at that, because he is a celebrity, he trusts that if I call him out or if I say celebrity it would cause um, the audience, the small little audience that has been watching me to be like, yo, Lona, she keeps on talking about how these, these men back Corobella and now upizu play my celeb. Upizu play my celeb. Well, celeb dude, understand that you are operating in the ID and you are no different even though you are a celebrity. You are no different from all these other Corobella men. It's written in God's word in the book of Revelation about the great white throne judgment. I want you to understand just how much you ain't jack, even if you're a celebrity, okay? When God is about to judge the whole planet, both great and small people of the earth 
are brought up to be judged by the same God, to go to the same hell, having done the same futilities. Whether or not you were the little old lady planting chrysanthemums in a garden and just imagining that you're more good than bad versus you being an actual prolific member of the Illuminati. It doesn't matter if you are a president of a country, a Freemason, or just some silly boy that died in a biker accident thinking that he's more good than bad. You all will be called up, great and small, to face God on the judgment and he will have no regard for how big you were or how small you were. To God, you're just another Korobela junkie. You are not a celebrity. You are just another fool. And you will be called up like in Revelation 20, 20, not 22. In Revelation 20, you will be called up. Ingati, you ain't Jack. At the Great White Throne Judgment after you die, having belonged to a secret society. This is what it's written in Revelation 20 from verse 11. Does not matter, boy, boy. And all that jazz. I understand that won't matter. You will be only among, and even then, you're not, you're not even so prolific that you would qualify as the great. If anything, you'd be mediocre because the great are actually kings that came, emperors that came, Abonero, people like Hitler, they're the great. People like Nelson Mandela, they're the great that get called up. And yes, no, Mandela is not safe, Marlin. You, that That's the great. So when I was just a, 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 a little celebrity, in these streets in South Africa, you don't even qualify as great. But nonetheless, you've got a delusion of grandeur. Grandeur, And as he, this guy, I've, I've seen, I've met him before. Not really met him, but I've hung out in the same environment as him. But, uh, but I never got officially introduced to him. Because I was hanging out in the same space that he was at where I was partying with my boyfriend. And he was good people. He was just around us and whatnot. As a young man growing up with Askafela Nerukhola type establishment thing. And he was so humble and such good people back then. I don't know what, that's the thing. You guys, you get involved in the occult and then you change. You become these horrible people. Revelation 20, 11. Then I saw a great white throne and him who was seated on it. From his presence, the earth and sky fled away and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead. That would be you, okay? That's how God sees you. You ain't jack, dog, like proper. The earth flees and the sky from the sight of God. What more? I cannot die about the lab, one kutra. That's like it. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Then another book was opened, which is the book of life. Listen to this part. And the dead were judged by what was written in the books according to what they had done. And the sea gave up the dead that were in it. Death and Hades gave up the, death, the, the dead that were in them. And they were judged each one according to what they had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Death and Hades gives up the dead that are in them. When you pass away, you go to a place called Hades. It's a banking place before hell. And this place, it's going to vomit you out. You're then going to get judged. And then you're going to be thrown, all of you, Helicoban, as a conglomerate, not even individually. Because this is what the Bible says, death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. So it's like they judge all of you and then plastic bag, a black, you pick it up. And they just throw you in hellfire. Copan it clumped with all these other little rodents. By calling a corbel, by calling a rape, by calling a nihilism. Thinking a good man border, nothing happens. Like proper. Crickets. You think that when you pass away it's just crickets. Yeah. One day all long carlet babizang this thing. Rabish Ditsil. More hara plastic ya pitik maya pick it up, a black plastic plastic bag for dirt and just thrown away in je got we dirty. Got away now you will have been is a lab. Kang chun swembu boy boy and yazin I'm not even gonna live level moon swimbu and still to this day also send swimbu godwa. Whether or not oh hot, it doesn't matter. Bottom line is a boy lee lane is your came be manje. You are not who you used to be back in the day. And yazuguti, you literally were relying on Dabayor or Celeb and in Nahanka Honsa. I'm just gonna look crazy. You've got plausible deniability in favor of you but you see i serve a holy god and he's my advocate and i don't operate by the laws of this world i don't operate in courts of this world i tried to go through the courts of south africa to get justice for myself it did not work it is a holy just god in a heavenly court that's going to give me justice against now with footy boy boy and in general i am currently testifying against you as a plaintiff i'm going to win the case an eternal one that is cut to you are literally facing hellfire you are nihilistic today with a complete stranger woman, if I capitulated, no reason. Oh, no, don't, uh, boy, boy, no reason. 
Anyway, the, the dream that I got going, I'm going to expose it. You are operating in a baby tongue, this thing. In a you're nihilistic, right? You're, you're in, in ID. We are phone. You want it and you want it now. And when I asked the Lord earlier, someone's like, how is it that Lomudlona was watching my content at all? When, when not even regular jeans and Joes in South Africa are watching my content. You're not the first celeb. Let me just put that out there. You're not the first celebrity to happen upon my content and then slap me. There's another one. It's two of you that have been set apart for me. There's a dream that I got like months ago, couple of months, four, five, where it is that an occult organization told itself, we need to deal with her. We need to deal with this chick. I'm sorry for those of you that have been speaking my languages too. I hope that largely you have still held on to me. Okay. This woman, there is a way to deal with her. Just hook her up with a very handsome Satanist, a very good looking guy that everybody is going to be salivating after everybody is, is basically a coveted man a desired man and he will go and choose ugarab ugumchada like a celeb that's going to go and get a regular poor chick for a wife and that's how we're going to handle her she's going to be made crazy by the fact that he's a celeb and so she'll forget about christian bike she will dream on she will forget about it they they try they have tried before to hook me up do you understand with a hot boy omunye in the entertainment industry i saw it for what it was and i spoke against it by yegala dai plan and now here's a volume 2.0 i asked the lord who, how is it that a celebrity would be looking at me when i barely get any views on youtube i'm out of being contacted by uh digital marketers and uh, search engine optimization experts telling me we see that your youtube channel is going nowhere le, 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 you know how about you contact me Carabo, and i will help you monetize your youtube channel there are people that see that my channel is going nowhere and the only ones that actually go out of their way to find me are those that are actually trying to look find a job to get paid to optimize a youtube channel so the person can monetize otherwise i get scantily perused one or two people subscribe to me every so often one or two people watch my long-form content i don't really get viewed and i know that my content is going to get viewed eventually at some point somewhere in the future but not right now i believe it's going to get viewed largely after the rapture so indeed all right why would a big fat chunky celebrity like you be out just clicking on some chick with like five views after 48 hours of uploading a youtube ch a video you aren't it's true looking at me from a vantage point of being a mere spectator you're not just being recommended my videos bugger by youtube as celebrities indeed you do watch all of us randoms on youtube who are not officially in an entertainment industry but just self-made on youtube but you tend just like the human psychology gives you tend to be very typically like the rest of the hordes or the drones who watch social media content you are psychologically driven by numbers in other words you tend to click on that which is already trending so the only youtube content creators you know are those who are stars those who have got big uh, videos and given that you're also in the entertainment industry you are also highly unlikely focusing very deeply on the things of god because they're gonna mess with your career so i'm not being viewed voluntarily willy-nilly by somebody just clicking on a recommended video on my youtube channel by celebrities i'm not the kind of person that would be recommended to you on your particular youtube screen on your computers when you are just scrolling through it trying to find random entertainment from random people in these streets that aren't actually celebrities i am unlikely going to be recommended to you and that's the thing that i was asking god today after getting this dream about this dude i was like father i don't even know how to tackle this thing people was wrong situation in how did the guy even find my content how did he even find my content and that's just the nice thing about god he he speaks to me he responded he was like lomundu was not recommended to you the way that youtube recommends videos just the algorithm and then he clicks on it because he's not that he his feed is not such that like on youtube your feed is not such that it would recommend christian content you are not interested in christianity you aren't you were led to me you were sent to me i am your assignment <laughs> my goodness gracious oh goodness you you did not click on me because the youtube algorithm recommended me you watched my videos because i got spoken about in your circles what circles would those be this was god's response then god how did this guy click on me is was that dream a metaphor for crying out loud was it a metaphor were you using him as a metaphor but even then of what because there's nothing that i am affiliated to this guy concerning or anything that i know about him that could be used metaphorically why why yeah and the lord was like he belongs to a secret society that's been ogling at you so i guess the rumors are true about your celebrities aren't they you really do get inducted into some nefarious organizations don't you 
You really do. Belong to some Illuminati random forces, don't you? Yeah. And these little Illuminati random forces, it appears. May the Lord have mercy on your souls. Get saved. You are actually pulling rugs from regular South African feet. You, from underneath our feet. You are actually stealing prosperity, money, wealth from regular South Africans to push your agenda along. It's a blood cult. It's a demon-possessed ecosystem that you're dwelling in. Where it is. That in order to push your agenda along, you've got to steal from the blood supply of actual regular South Africans on the ground. But there are these people that you, you can't deal with. Balibor, like no man's business. Abazalwan, Christianity will always be the most resisting force in any given ecosystem against the occult. And so, of course, belonging to a secret society, you will have a segment of your society that is dedicated to dealing with problematic Christians. And I just so happened to be highlighted as one of them. Just like the other guy, a very handsome celebrity, actor dude, that's younger than me. I can say again, you're not younger than me. You are either my ex-boyfriend's age, slightly younger or slightly older, but you're my peer. You're my peer. The other one, he's younger by, he could be like in his mid-30s, maybe early 30s. Nonetheless, they wanted to marry him to me. And for me, it was like, if I was lost in the world and that guy pursued me, the way I thought he was so hot. I was going to be confused on some me, na me, you want me, na. No go slang. I might have even come at him. But because he was so young, maybe I might have been like, no, but no, thank you. I don't know. But as for you, I remember when you were first on the scene, coming out. <laughs> as I'm tempted to describe you, but I'm just, I'm bigger than that dude. Like the, the dude from my high school. Oh, the one that used to be an athlete. I only used the fact that he was an athlete as a description so, so 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 that he would understand that I know what he did. And I spared him from being found for exactly who it is that he was for the sake of grace and mercy that he might repent. So no one knows who he is, but the description was strong enough for him to be able to know that I was talking about him in my video. So I guess I will award you the same grace. So even with the other celebrity guy, I did not describe him too much. But I don't even know. Bottom line is I was born in 1984 and I know that you're my peer because you were one of my my ex-boyfriend was 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 your boy my ex-boyfriend were not tight like you weren't tight tight buddies but if you saw each other in the party scene you'd be like yo yo what's going on what's good mm. and so that's how i know that you're my peer plus i know that you're my peer because when you were new on the scene first doing continuity presenting and all that jazz and i won't say where exactly was your first job in that continuity presenting because then that might just expose you yeah everybody was spazzing over you my cousin could not stop talking about you my cousin was like yo this dude i love his smile blah 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 this that and the other and i agreed thought you were really like yeah just a really cute dude just a really super duper califragile expialidocious cute dude that made sense why in the world under heaven it is that you got a gig in the entertainment industry you were both a hot boy and you were well spoken and everybody imagined "Ooh, i wonder who his girlfriend is she's probably really really blessed and you ultimately turned out to be one of the ones that had a maidy that was stable that you married still quite young and now today, Nyazbuzuguti, when's a galan a wife of yours? Because here it is that upizi with a woman <laughs> from the internet. Funukshi mfazi boy. Like, what's going on? Like, guys, you know what? You get evil. You get evil. You know, there was this ministry that I follow in the US called Good Fight Ministries. And one of the videos that they did was why you should not covet or envy celebrities. And the, so one of the things they said was these people suffer from mental illness, they are always very unhappy. And on top of that, they're involved in darkness. They're involved in darkness and they're barely happy. Happy, And like ever since entering the entertainment industry, many of them attest to how it is that they're sadder. They're more depressed than they were before they had all the money. So it makes sense why you would want to default back to a home base of a regular girl. Wamzalwani. That's still got good old fashioned old school principles because this thing that you have been involved in as a result of you entering the entertainment industry has cost you your peace. And you feel as if though Uzoi Tola back, you're going to get that peace back by just being with Umundu or Blomino Jesu. Someone that's chilling with Jesus. That's what's good. Yeah. So you're just going to rest like chilling in a hammock because the entertainment industry exhausts you and you want to go back home to something. And your wife is not cutting it for you. Why? Because she's not born again. She's not that rest, that peace. And so you've got bizarre ideas. Innocent woman that does not deserve that rubbish. That's what's good. 
just so you can be with umzalwani i keep saying labantu 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 a lot of them they are tumulted but troubled give their evil lives their dark arts have taken away peace from them and that's why they feel so entitled to christian women you keep on experimenting time and time again on christian women now you want the simplicity of before you were in the entertainment industry that's why now i'm scared to have children sometimes even though i want them desperately you guys know that because i personally am very artistically gifted in very many respects however i inherently had no desire just in and of myself to be part of the entertainment industry but i've been scouted quite a few times to be part of it and i didn't want to go there because i wanted my peace and i now realize that it was god helping me along because all of your art history gets you targeted by the devil because you now belong to an influential industry that can basically motion the hand of the world to move in the direction that the devil wanted to go so he will gun for you he will gun for you baglandile they fetched you you started out doing being a continuity presenter in your own capacity and then somewhere along the way as you were growing and growing in grace they made a decision uti sizom recruta we want them you've got recruited into an occult organization you got recruited into a secret society made up of influential people in this country celebrities businessmen and women corporate and corporate as well as in the uh, uh, government sector etc you belong to basically a society that has got some of the biggest people in the country running it being part of it you are one of the members and as a result of being one of the members you have been guaranteed essentially safety for the rest of your days or whatever financially you're good and so far as you are leached to it that's what's good but this organization of yours is nefarious it's evil and so because it's e as evil as it is it's making war with the kingdom of heaven and every so often you target little old ladies random janes and ran random joes people that ain't jack in society they're just working in call centers they sweeping streets they are nobody materially and socioeconomically but they are beasts spiritually they are forever fasting they are forever praying they are forever bringing down altars and so you target them you are targeting abogogo abogreza you are targeting gardeners you are targeting random poor chicks living at the back of their mother's houses gathering dust going absolutely nowhere you are among the mutineers against this country and the only reason you're targeting us is because we are like i said beasts spiritually we are prolific spiritually and therefore impactful able to uproot is in dolez is is nyanyi sayo that you guys do we are able to uproot all of your rubbish and all of your nonsense that's what's good so that's why you see me that's why you notice me you see me not because you were just scrolling through youtube and happened upon me and like all these other randos ba korobela then decided to go to lomundo na ke na muntu this person doesn't have anybody so mina ngizomthatha thinking that i'm up for grabs you are not one of those you were led to me because i am a targeted christian in this country by organizations like yours and after watching my videos for a season you broke away secretly your secret society doesn't even know ngathi ba ba ngxa boy they don't even know what you're into you have done this in your own capacity i see zagwa the other guy the other dude i almost said his name the other one wa o go ba mohoto yeah cuz you're like hot boys like i'm not going to lie proper beautiful men yes like it that boy looks so good but his mind is not ready so here we go yo just like that exactly the other one they were arranging him for me lawyer they wanted to enter him into a marriage with me by arrangement it was supposed to somehow be orchestrated and i was going to end up with him the same guy on a girlfriend and i don't know what has since happened with that relationship but he was interviewed on some show that i saw on youtube and i was like and ever since the interview that i saw it would be something like maybe 6 months that would progress before i got this dream and i'm like how what happened between him and girlfriend like was he prepared to go dump the girlfriend just to deal or handle a christian was he prepared to leave that woman just so that he could be the handler of a christian woman and he in the dream appeared to be willing to be with me so like he was forced so he was prepared to leave that chick for me i, I sound bizarre i sound crazy even when i speak like, I, I, that's why sometimes when i get these dreams i'm like god how in the world am i supposed to formulate this argument so that i don't sound crazy to people who are realistic in this world i am trying to cater to a realistic audience when that happened i didn't expose his identity neither describe him too much that it might be clear who in the world i'm speaking about but once he got called out he uh, the details in the dream were sufficient enough to blow to stop them from trying because of the fact that i had seen it from what i understand that secret society is a different one from the one that you belong to and the one that you belong to i was just raised in a meeting or something you then went back home and started watching me by yourself so you when you have not been told i'm about go go stumble garabo why because you are a married man already 
that other dude he wasn't married yet so they wanted to make him my husband you on the other hand they would not have chosen you for this honor they would not have chosen you for this job because you already have a wife so you decided that you're just going to help yourself along in the dream the house that you had bought for me and the strings that you had pulled for me even in terms of the company that i would ultimately keep keep was so prolific that i had need for nothing and felt super blessed and highly favored that you chose me you had bought me a house you had pulled strings for me to ultimately get back my life you had uh given you had literally hooked me up even with friends i had in life you get pelele like right now i'm sitting around gathering dust and in that i had friends and you were providing for all of us not just me you were providing for all of us and these friends of 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 mine that you had arranged for me were singing praises to me for being the lucky girl that got the guy that frankly everybody wanted and in that dream you were super loving you were super romantic and you were not pushy about my 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 values you know like uh, my um what do you call this thing my chastity like you 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 were not trying to make sure that i have sex with you or whatever you were willing to sit around just waiting for me at my own leisure we can do whatever we want to do and you were working going out there in the wilderness to work and then coming back to provide richly for me that while i might have gotten much of what it is that i wanted back i was still however not independent i was still hugely reliant on you and i was not even married to you neither proposed to i was just a girlfriend i was a girlfriend and in the dream i when i woke up in the morning i knew that you have a wife i know that you have a wife but in the dream it's like she didn't even exist it's like she never ex- it's like it's like there was never it's like it's like you were just a, a boyfriend you were just a single dude in in my dream it's like you were just a single dude that had no wife no girlfriend nothing there was there was no wife no girlfriend it was just blank entirely blank you had no nothing of what it is that in waking life you have from what i understand you have a child or children by now and a wife and in my dream you had none of these things so that spoke of deception that you wanted to deceive me into believing that uh, basically a guy living a double life you won't keep it how in the world you going to live a double life as a celebrity i don't even know like proper you were going to deceive me into believing you, you've never been married and i don't know gay abandona how you were going to hide those but i was just a girlfriend of yours that was not even proposed marriage so much but i was you were very serious with me you were very serious with me to a point of being coveted by other women and in the end of the dream there was some silly little girl that was standing in the middle of us she was trying to interrupt our romance the thing that we were doing and you were just looking at her on some you're standing in the way but like she could not really achieve to do what it is that she wanted to do because you were so determined for me that was basically me being shown even if there is sorcery operating from strange women trying to block you garabo from being with this handsome celebrity dude and nonetheless this thing is going to conquer almost like akon's song hey nobody wanna see us together but it don't matter no cuz i got you babe that whole theme was going on in the in the song where it is that it was like nobody can separate us cuz in a way too we're going to be together your secret society doesn't even know that you you are trying to vie for me you have experimented you're testing this sorcery to see how in the world I would react whether or not I would find out that you did this thing and if at all I like what I don't know what you guys expect hallelujah battle and then don't even write them or whatever you would never even write me you would never even dm me because you're a celebrity and I would like probably be like would, like you you can't risk it especially because you're a celebrity so oh no it's I I don't understand I don't understand what you were doing but one thing that is certain is that this is not at the permission of your occult secret society you have only experimented with me the way that you're experimenting with me because they highlighted me as a problem christian and then you went on right ahead and grabbed my story uh, my youtube channel you went and watched it by yourself and from what i saw you have ever since then been consistently watching me and in so consistently watching me then made yourself fall in love with the woman that is entirely out of reach for you 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 fancied me you ended up getting charmed electrified by who i am and then just like all these other guys that watched me for a season and then decided to minang so experiment you then did exactly what they did experimented dibit nyana sezalona this wickedness of yours this occult 
insanity of yours in the entertainment industry. Look at how far from your original character, your original state you have fallen, dude. But no rogo guy no. Look at what you're doing. Umfazi that keeps on rapping on over and over and over again about the same stuff you went and experimented with again where you're trying to test to see if indeed I've got a spiritual gifting. Hingani. Like your occult organization highlighted me highlighted me as a problem Christian Bese Uzbeya on the firing line of Lomundloy. You should have just left me alone. Now I wouldn't I, I, if you had left me alone, I wouldn't even know that you belong to this occult uh, organization. If you had left me alone, I also would not know that when I in particular, boy boy, your whole feat and stint that is maintained in the entertainment industry is precisely because you have signed your soul over to the devil or you've signed a contract no satan no one can sell their soul to the devil if you want to repent you can always come back you can always go back to god god you're gonna lose everything that a prolific house that i was living in that very beautiful mansion that you had bought me you won't be able to buy it if you decide to be honest with god what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and yet lose his soul it's written in god's word that it's easier for a camel to enter the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven so you're in a lot of trouble especially considering you're a father and a husband that has got to keep a household running mm -hmm. walking away from that darkness that you are in might compromise with the wife that you are currently trying to cheat on or trying to leave or trying to lie up to with a double life that you're living with some strange chick on the side some chick that you would have found on the internet and manje when i get you are not a baby you're not a, a little you're not a gen z you're not you're in your 40s you're older than me so basically you're trying to make me a mistress from what i saw in that dream and likely the reason why you feel pompously able to do that is precisely because you're a celebrity a celebrity guys as in like I said, a little leaven leavens the whole lump. South Africa is a wicked country. I've been lamenting about it for a minute. It has created law out of wicked acts and therefore given bravado, brazenness, and bravery to those who practice occult magic, thinking that like a puppet on a string, you can just wave your magic wand, your scepters, your king scepters, because you think you're Zeus, over the citizens of this country and do what you want and then die and be okay. You're nihilistic and the holy God has seen your wickedness. You have fallen far from grace and glory. Likely your grandmother's faith or your mother's faith, you have far divorced from it. Likely also your family members don't know that you're involved in this occult secret society organization. But the thing about joining these organizations is that your character ends up leaving a lot to be desired. You change. You were sweet once upon a time. And now Nto Lingyona is an entitled zombie. An entitled zombie that's granting wanting sex eat 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 and so you just go and get it you are experimenting with Numfazi that has already lamented against angazi anga anga kama dota boy i don't know how many men i have lamented against i i my poverty is it my poverty can you be more exploitative can you 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 can the thing that is making you pursue me go moraho is about a halna hot or you don't have peace halna hot when i can alone halna need and i can alone halna jess when i can alone and so because highly but i go the source of my my you get my point halla but i go the source of of this comfort this peace this thing that's kept me very strong this thing that has made your big fat chunky occult organizations look at me halla but you 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 want to hold on to the world it's written in god's word that if you hold on to your lives you will lose them but if you lose your lives for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, you will gain them. Being a celebrity means nothing in the sight of God. All right. In the sight of men, however, it's a big fat chunky I, thing. But only look at now how you have been reduced to operating in just your basic instincts. And you just take it. You just take it. Just like that. Just like that. You're a rapist now. You do realize that Ikorwela is rape, right? So calling a GBV man and being a celebrity in your tanda. Uzi, tell a lime, Kakwin. Tell a woman to go to your guys doing adverts and everything campaigns. Please stop being so harsh to our women. Ah, Jonga, when a boy boy go to enza what? Here it is that you are out here thoroughly trying to block my prospects for being self sufficient. Utu and Uzo figures on Patella, young game, doing Ifuna, lime, Kakwin. To a point of even concealing in the way to an umfazi, and as we to umfazi. I know that you have a wife because you were my boy's man. You might not have known me as a maid, you got some dude that you knew. But bottom line is, because my boyfriend was one of your boys. My ex used to date you. Not date you, sorry, know you. My ex now, and so for those reasons, like, you, you could never deceive me. 
coupled with the fact that you're a celebrity, everything when you're saying is on the media, boy. Like Papa, eh? How nga la? Go for the I All we need to do is just Google it, and we find the nepeta banaba ka kuba cute. Like nga yes nga baswa la ba fast la ba. Nga kaba utwe la ba sa di balona. Kaba utwe. Anything just fell out to get ahead, but um, no more. Like ill gotten gain. Ising kwa se nis ta nis ta rabshu nge kazi la ba nga bantu. Hard e bade. Askis ke maswabi. If you feel like trash, you ought. If you feel like rubbish, you ought. Cause manja here it is that you're trying to make me looking at him na nyasanya. Kaya mguta masale buti anga ngifuna. Masale buti anga ngifuna. No. You, 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 your occult organization. Azang yaksa ndugu tuizo ngishela boy. Azang. You are doing this rogue. You are rogue. You have gone rogue. You are doing your own thing. They did not send you. They are focused on trying to destroy me, kill me, do whatever mara. You are, you have not been set apart to be my ngoba uchati le boy. Ongez. Mara wa forced. In your own capacity. Anaruna na romang. Who do you think you are in comparison to Wongo Muntu Lo Lime Kakwen Ong Shai Nye Korobela? Why? Why not do you think you are quite special? Is it because you're a celeb? Nishanya, you're always in front of cameras. Now me, I'm always in front of a camera. Do you see me, Nishanya? Eh? Do you see me, Nishanya? Ke hanka blow up in na ke have a YouTube channel yana ya khuba important. Or let go nishabela just because I'm a big YouTuber. Ka ofela lo opolo swa. Kos le bodi le ka ofela. Le bodi le langkutu. Le bodi. Nto sabale edzi sang zona. As a result of wanting to gain more glory, more fame. In this very competitive industry of yours that is sending souls to hell, hitting the ground running, making you feel ngati, your nihilistic endeavors are somehow going to bear any fruit. Otherwise, you are going to send yourself to hell. Langkuta. Hell exists, boy. Like the fact that I was able to figure out what you telling me. First of all, be ashamed of yourself. Then again, they were hot boys and hot girls. They looked like they had decorum. They were hot boys and hot girls. 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 None of them looked like Baloi. They were hot They all looked too good to do this, but they did it. Lento la ikfane likoto aizanya fane exi ama ikfane langwa yu umdo imi tikoto upizi ngay. The whole of South Africa. Ngaka nje fika hafela hale tuwane le kidi tlara marali bizi gato. Hale tuwane le kidi tlara marali bizi gato na so na kita leza. Like proper guys, what am I supposed to do with you? What am I supposed to do with you? Like proper, you have thrown the country to the dogs. Man kata la pobe se nitle imoguti mina ngyakula ngisangen. Mina, mina. Na kikikiyo no kiyo no ntrenga. I'm the crazy one. Kaze wena hao sa anyo utlo shala cherika kokobel. O experimenta ka kokobel. Obatla wana ogena gena wana out of all of the guys bang loilenga kovela na kita nka wana uli wani because of celebrity. Eh eh. Kilo na lisanya. You are the ones that are operating in the ID entirely. Freud's error in his theory of the in the psyche of the psyche was in the fact that he was he attempted to explain God away. And now all of these years, all these centuries down the line, since he wrote that theory, O Freud win. Eh eh. Bantla we o. Kupale blooming relaxing. Akaba very very humiliated by the way his 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 theory has got holes in it now. It's burning because society has just turned into dust. Get nonsense, get rubbish. What are you doing, Agarazai? For your sake, seriously. Rap chat, guy, guys. Because right now you are so nihilistic. You are so unbelieving. You are so unbelieving that I ban you. Kabale another fifty years more more lifting. Rat hoka fal. Loya di heling. Loya di heling. Nessun zen lesa hold. Nen or nam holding on to a pie in the sky dream. Lo nen zeli bizli tharan lesa dan. Mazo holang kuta. Eh. Abali se di heling. You are going to hell. Hitting the ground running. I can say be. Horwale jisi zengwa ko okalting. Mara kyalika itlata lang kuta. It's worth it. Kyalika lo zaya. Some deliverance ministers, but when they say, "Madimoni amanga tanga ta alunari ancestor worship," Madimoni amanga tanga ta alwa kwenzeng as a result of initiation into the occult. Ke halika is everything in your power to evade eternal condemnation. Jaga ham salona aboni nyoko alona hakana. Ntele lipizle experimenta going back to drawing board. Anar lotola police bagasizka. Lotola police bagasizka kang guys. How long? Abu ti onon onzo bilo onzo loya chere ising masadwa how? Anar uga 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 fancy ya. Cherry to a point of how many years on top of Buloi, Bobo, Bobo, Ngata, Bobo, Boom, since she just piled up on my stomach. How in the world you gonna have a crush on a chick and bewitch her for a tenth, twentieth, millionth time after she has been lamenting what he's gonna be like? Then I'm pumping him. Let's dance together, you guys. Get good, good, balling, close, and clear. Get in your canoe, let's dance to a point where the galoya muzalan. How can I answer the wrong one about how I'm gonna be? Can I be on a girl? Get your mama back and hold the ball. La bona khal. Mudi mwa lensa kadi tuapili di bonga lensa li hense. Kiri li di cloaking spells. Nori lasse ma ex-boyfriend ona irle a cloaking spell. Come on. And see you.
It's written in God's word that that which is done in the darkness, God is going to reveal it in the marvelous light. Utwe in some rooftop. So gang I gotta lead happy ling. Jaka halen swaka but kim zalwan. Jaka hali bazalwani. Ba bas nang chilete bat hope healing. Le focus it mobana hakana hali bon horunale madla ko jesung. Jaka hali to lata la murahu garden. Lata la murahu domestic wekar. Because unzali bizan zale trapaga di pikari tanks. Anar lo lata la murahu cherry es nang chilete se bagasis kakang. Kimon naga le trapa le naga di tanks daily. Clearly. Cause the business is shabbin. The business don't need to match. Don't need to match. Oh, says how long? So rude and don't need to match. Oh, Sebaka says Kakang. How long are you gonna keep on looking at me until you realize what the up there is power in the name of oh God, Jesus? Look God when I can see. No Satan. No any tembil. On the case of Imizi, no ma any model. No ma contract. We ma movies. Eh, but the way oh, if you like, I can divorce. So I'm moyen. Cause I'm looking at the body garden. So I'm moyen the garden alone. Eh. Zamos kena di groza ko pick and pay. Kalen zile bata hong kisa da. Zamos kena di groza. Zamos kala di YouTube channel di celebrity aker. Hmm. Di celebrity aker. Eh. Zamos kala di YouTube channel. Aker bato sebali it's balerat. Already they fancy you. They think you're important and special. Jaka ha entertainment industry insista. Horle ratra le satan. There's a way for you to be maintained more bloody camera without the entertainment industry. You don't have to sign your soul to the devil. You don't have to be on the silver screen or the big screen or the small screen or the microwave screen. You don't have to be in front of cameras where you entertain. You don't have to be streamed on Netflix. Just start a YouTube channel and pay Ibondiako through ad revenue. There's a way around. Go and do jokes on YouTube proper. There is a way to continue to make money without signing your soul to the devil. Nagazam, Marli Bizling Bloki, Nanorlan Litang Tiras Bakasakan Haka Tirwatle, Kimudimo Olienz and Orlea Le Apiere to have Tirad me. Haka Tirwaki next. All that is Tirang, it's to Etirin Moki Matalon. Letterian, Letterian, you are operating in nothing but the ID, waiting in apocalypse. Nidi zombie, just walking around, grunting, ah, ah, ah. Hahona sentiency. Halasahona who appropriately respond to, to stimuli in society. And our lone names are the Shabani Mosadi, all in talented to have a Toko Hakana, as a Honoko Rosa Girless and Dede. Without even making a single cent, how long are you going to keep on watching some of your most gifted South Africans struggle to work because Nina Nibata Tela Masters, Nina Nibata Onjele, E. Gambazab? You've got the blood of people on your hands, Lady Macbeth. Kya le kalo thaswa madia tenge kamudin because khalo to tu se khalang kuta ne ne zil bizi tsa baga How long did you think that you could continue in this insanity, being so menacing as you presently are, without actually one day having this catch up with you? Like I said, ne ba to ba feeling with consciences. Linda le rava zaba tu baba ngkabo tu kuhakana without it eating you whole at some point. That's why as celebrities you end up so gaunt. Ma khalo na asanken mo kharadi soke tsa lona ga le sa gona go ditbona sentle you end up passing away go fokotsa gile ga botlhogo gampe moya antsitswe out of you ngare le balloon that's you guys you die in jefela like entirely negligible because of how much darkness you have to do in order to be maintained in that industry get out start a youtube channel start a tiktok trend on there do something else because that industry the moment you sign a contract with DSTV with Netflix with Hollywood the moment you get on an airplane to go to the US to Los Angeles, sex peli le manch le fokotwa ke the very pursuit of fame that you initially loved, but now it's like dust in your mouths. It's dust to a point where you gonna actually have a crush proper. If the letting go fella, and I'm the matter. I pile se photo photo ngar ke skuda on some lay chick and the fellows na kere chelet. Ana next, I would thank your your credit, your stats. I want to bang this prover. For having me on your quapa, boy. You know how you operate on cloud. And yet here it is that you are spazzing hard knock to a point of Corbella over some chick with no dough. It shows you to the industry and ain't got value. How na next? There's nothing there. Who empty? It's fool's gold, Lankutra. It's fool's gold. It's all that glitters that is not gold. It is fool's gold, that industry. Yale empty yeah, to a point where you will actually be having a crush on your domestic worker. It is no one that Justin Timberlake cheated on his is it just Justin Timberlake speculated to have cheated on Jessica Biel. Not domestic. In this entertainment industry in in Ravaza to a point where you 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 miss the simplicity of people that have not signed Amazon's Wahabo to the occult. Sala email Lamontu Kima Dimon. A worola tanganabatu. I don't see Elim causing at the back of a mother's house. Momu kukung asa hono who gets anything. Or Momu tumbaga gorobel. Even though she would tank your stats, they would plummet. Ugang patalung patamo batunke. Ugase batle batwa bono wana joya lecheri is nang next. That's what's good. Mara. Ona le hot. Ona le peace. Ona bat. She's got peace. Ona le something. Kaena. Eh eh eh. Yeah. It's just it's healing, right? It's like salve on your open wounds. Naga go regular the present day. Nyana tse tsa go bola ke mona o loileng bo phela ba ka go fela ke a le ka le bala. Mm. 
I'm not gonna do anything of that nature. But when I get married, for a husband, and if it does, if one does not come through, whole right? Kago ni ala korobela na. I'm not doing anything of that nature. Kago jo ala korobela. And on top of that, kago na vacation like that is 26 that December because my father ngakho no kubale na kadi 25 because kadi 25 na dem side what thing. O brazen ni considering happy on top of that obuto rona le mosadi le like hey wait again guys like I'm done like yo wait again I'm done. There is no other reason why you are obsessed with a Christian other than that you are obsessed with a Christian that you do in the occult. So all I can counsel you at this point is repent. Give your lives to God that he might cleanse you and give you an idea as to how you can continue to provide for your family even though you have broken free from your secret society that has guaranteed you wealth for the rest of your days. Pumangu Satan is going to take you to hell. I have an overtakoba among the death and Hades that get called up in the great white throne judgment. Only to be thrown in the lake of fire a second death. Letanense letula pelejana. Marana kupaleng kweleng. Heba tung los me iti. Hakimu ba aten na muna. Wahu wa illuminati. Kenyi siki suye kenyi bai bizang. Bai bizang siki suye sati ya kako. Tua kataba obuti. Kim keng ki illuminati. Or keng mo ya mom zanze enang lili bizo la sezolo. I can say. Mara bottom line is. Man can do nothing to you. But kill your body. God, however, can kill both the body and send its spirit to hell. So I have an old haba, your little secret society that's named after some Zulu man. Go on, carry on. Lene lenze li bizile Africa bazalwan. Leba beile mo aitin nirara ring. Lebe leba nama watu tagete that body anona. Ko the occult. Ina le sefatle, ina le senepe saka rabo. Leba bang by ten, babazalwan. Eh, so lang pe. Leba noro mo di mo khalo le chesa before le cha. He will send you to hell. Lo, zen soka fa hara plastiki ya pikita pila ula atwa lang kutwa for eternity. This thing leads to hell. Let's get another gali one. Mara kupalu tsang mo naga korobela ke khatets. I'm exhausted. Puman giving ale korobela yenu. I anki katas. I'm signing out in Christ's name, Cranky. I hope you've been edified. Peace.